Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, let's see something about yield keyword in Python. Okay, so yield keyword is uh, one of the most powerful keyword used in Python. Okay, this uh, this comes under a concept called Python generators. Okay, so generators. I will make a separate video about what is generators and how uh, how generators are used in Python. Okay, for now let's focus only on yield keyword. Yield keyword is something uh, very similar to return uh, keyword. It basically returns a um, value. But uh, okay, in order to depict, I I will show you an uh, example which shows a difference between how return and uh, yield keyword works so that you will have a better understanding. Okay, so to start with, I will I will write a simple program which uh, calculates the um, square of the given numbers. Okay, so I will just uh, <coughs> declare a method called square and square numbers. Um, I'm just passing the values right, so I'm just gonna pass something for nums. And <clears throat> first, I'll declare a, a empty list maybe to append the square values. Okay, and then I I have to um, loop through the values that I'm providing. So for i in nums, what I'm gonna do is finally um, I'm so as I said, I'm gonna calculate the square of these numbers right so i'm just going to append into my list square append so what am i planning to do i'm just planning to take square of the given numbers okay so finally keenly note here so i'm just re returning a value returning a list basically i'm just returning an entire list here okay now let's uh, <clears throat> run and see Squares, okay. Square numbers. So it's expecting arguments, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pass few values: like one comma, two comma, three comma, four comma, five. Okay. Now, finally, I'm gonna print the squares. Okay. Now let's run and see what happens. Yeah, it actually calculated the square of the numbers and um, uh, returned me the values uh, square for whatever values I have provided. So if you keenly note here, I have just returned the list. So here, my entire list is returned. Okay, so at the end, list called 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, everything is written as a whole. Now let's uh, try something else. Uh, let's try the same uh, program um using a yield keyword okay now let's try something new I'll write the same program numbers and square numbers of so i'm just i'm providing num <clears throat> so i'm just looping through my numbers for i in num yeah, now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use yield keyword and I'm just gonna calculate the square of the numbers I'm provided. As simple as that. So here, what if you see what I've done is I have removed the square list. Basically, I do not need any empty uh, list to return my values. So this line is no more required. I have not used the square list uh, line over here. Similarly, I'm not, I, I do not need the list.append method as well. So here I'm just going to simply uh, use the yield keyword by providing the actual functionality I need to perform. So basically I'm, I'm planning to perform the square of the given numbers. So yield i double star 2. Okay. So now what happens is uh, finally, okay, now let me pass my uh, actual values. So square. Uh, <clears throat> square is equal to so basically I'll just pass these values <clears throat> now if I now finally I will print this so if if I print this uh, it will return a generator object it will not in the previous example in the above example it returned the list as shown here now let me run and show what happens so if you see it returned a generator uh, object so uh, in my in my earlier example it returned an entire list 
but where else here it did not return a, a something similar to list or a tuple it actually returned a generator object so uh, this is where the concept of generator comes into picture in this yield keyword is very powerful in this python generator one the reason is because of its memory efficiency okay so why do we need to opt for yield is uh, <clears throat> so uh, consider uh, here we have just using you know just five sample values so uh, there's, there's no much difference in you know memory utilization consider you are working with a larger file okay so say if there's a 1 gb or a, you know 500 mb csv file okay so you you want to read the large file and do some processing in it right so uh, whenever your data set is quite huge so um, what happens is uh, in, in our earlier example uh, uh, you know what happens is entire uh, item is stored inside a list for example here in the above example here one two three four five it 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 goes through loop five times so all the values um, will be stored in memory okay so the entire list is stored in memory for each and every iteration where else in this yield keyword no nothing is actually stored in uh, memory so um, if, if i need to call the value from a generator object so what i can do is and i can just print i can use print next method and just call the so now if you see when when i when i use print next method so it it it, it returned me a value called one which is square of my first number similarly if i <coughs> print next of squares it will return me the second number yeah if you see the square of two is four so basically um, what happens is um, it will look for yield keyword so um, so here in my first statement when i used print next what happens is it will go and look into my yield keyword and it will retrieve the first element from my uh, <coughs> generator object so here in this example is one and next is two similarly if i want to print uh, all the, if i want to print all the elements then i can use then i can use this print next method or even i can use for loop to print all the elements from generator object now if you see it returned me the squares of all the numbers so what happens if i print another uh, next statement let me let me print try to print an additional statement let's see what happens it will throw a stop iteration error so if you see it will it throw me a stop iteration because um, uh, we are looking uh, uh, for an element we are looking for a value which is outside of our generator object right so i don't no longer read this so uh, again i'm just reiterating the example of why we need to use yield keyword the reason is because whenever you work with a larger data set for each and every iteration you are uh, uh, the entire item will be stored into a memory so in that situation um, your memory capability of your 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 machine's memory capability might be insufficient what it will do is it will actually throw a memory error in that uh, yield keyword comes as a um, comes in handy for this kind of situation where you uh, you create you you know you create a generator object and you need to uh, you know uh, look for values you know then and there in, you know there might be situation where you do not need entire items from list you need only specific items from a list okay so in that situation you can use this yield keyword and it will be very very memory efficient so um, this is one of the places where you can actually use yield keyword okay so um, <clears throat> that's all about uh, this video in case if you have uh, any queries this please post it in the comment section i would suggest you to try it with uh, maybe a, a larger data set and see how memory efficient it is probably you can uh, you know uh, calculate the difference in memory and uh, time processing for a uh, normal return keyword and yield keyword and just put it in the comment section um, thank you